performing art, and performing art seems to be every place now and again nowadays, something that I never saw before. Uh, but the real question of the day, I know that it was on your mind, given what is behind me. Where is Mummy's mustard jar? We have the ketchup bottle, and we have right here in this plaza every year uh, the Nathan's hot dog eating competition weigh in. But um, in fact, uh, this is real art, not that. Uh, I want to thank the Public Art Fund uh, for bringing Paul McCarthy's Daddy's Ketchup Bottle to City Hall. That's what it's called. And also thank them for the visual and performance works by all 10 of the artists from around the world that will be on display here as part of the Common Ground exhibition until November 30th. Uh, three of the artists are with us today, Matthew Day Jackson, Christian Jankowski, and Justin Matherly. Uh, gentlemen, thank you for helping us celebrate City Hall Park as common ground. You know, public art can and should do a lot of different things. It should challenge us, it should instruct us, it should entertain us, and it should make us laugh and make us think. And it should provoke controversy and maybe even conversation. Um, and it should enable us to view ourselves and our city in new ways. And the works here that are on display here, most of which haven't been seen in New York City before, I think accomplish all three of those goals. And they are going to engage New Yorkers in new and surprising ways. And that's absolutely in keeping with the Public Art Fund's mission, to bring dynamic contemporary art to the streets and public spaces of our city. And now marking its 35th anniversary, the Public Art Fund has since 1977 presented the objects of more than 500 artists to New Yorkers. And that's a great tradition in our city, started by the Public Art Fund's founder, Doris Friedman, and now carried on by the fund's current president, her daughter, Susan Friedman, by its board members, many of whom are with us today, and also by our next speaker, who will tell us a bit more about the Common Ground Exhibition, the director and chief curator of the Public Art Fund, Nicholas Baum. Nicholas? Thank, thank you so much, uh, Mayor Bloomberg. I, I know you're a little disappointed that we, uh, that we didn't get Mommy's mustard into the exhibition, but if Public Art Fund can't cut the mustard, who can? Oh. OK. Uh, but Really, what I first want to do is just acknowledge the wonderfully talented members of the choirs of St. James Church and the Church of the Transfiguration, who did that wonderful job uh, presenting Roger Hirons' uh, performance work, to which I look forward to further performances during the run of the exhibition. Now, Common Ground is the third exhibition that I've had the privilege of curating here in this wonderful park. My own approach to exhibitions is always to consider the context, physical, historical, social, and to work with artists to create a dialogue between the work of art and its place. This is why I love to curate public art in New York City. The context is just so rich. This exhibition developed as a reflection on the special character of this place, a site with a long and fascinating history, an intimate public park, beloved by local residents, office workers, and tourists, and also a symbolic center of our social and political institutions, where newlyweds, folks on jury duty, legislators, and freshly minted citizens convene for their respective photo ops. I myself recently became a citizen. Even as an adult, uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Being, being reminded of our rights and responsibilities is a powerful experience, all the more so because I shared it with many people who were born without the freedoms that we take for granted. Amalia Pico, whose work in this exhibition is a kind of monument to free expression, grew up under a former regime in Argentina where her own parents were detained for their political beliefs. Common ground is a play on words that evokes the shared nature of public space, as it also asks what we have in common. Through the eyes of the artists, of these artists, our shared cultural patrimony extends from Daddy's Ketchup all the way back to Justin Matherly's riff 
on heroic classicism. Meditations on history, language, and identity abound, each work entering a dialogue with the place and the public. The exhibition would have remained only an idea if not for the inspiring leadership of Mayor Bloomberg, First Deputy Mayor Patty Harris, uh, Parks Commissioner Adrian Benepe, and Cultural Affairs Commissioner Kate Levin. Nor would it have been possible without the extraordinary dedication and commitment of our President Susan Friedman and Chairman Jill Krauss, supported by our tremendous board, many of whom are here tonight, including Holly Lipton, who together with her husband Jonathan helped us to commission new work for the exhibition. Uh, we're also very grateful to Melva Buxbaum and Ray Learsey, uh, who lent us what I think is the most important work by the late Ian Hamilton Finlay in any US collection. As always, our team at Public Art Fund has pulled out the stops to make the exhibition come together as if by magic. My special thanks to our unflappable project manager, Sam Rausch. Sam, wherever you are, you've done an amazing job. As, as the mayor mentioned, oh, there you are. Uh, thank you, Sam. As the mayor mentioned, three of our citizen artists are here tonight, and I'd like to join him in thanking uh, the brilliant Matt Day Jackson, Christian Jankowski, and Justin Matherly. Working, yeah. Working with artists like you is the reason I have no hair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I actually uh, have had a terrific time working on this and look forward to uh, more public art fund projects with each of you in the future. And in the meantime, thank you all for being here tonight and sharing our common ground. Nicholas, thank you, but uh, let me point out that you'll have to talk to Paul McCarthy. We normally uh, have calorie counts on our uh, bottles of food. Um, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, this is just another example of trying to make New York more fun for not just for tourists, but for the people that live here day in and day out, because uh, that's really, in the end, our first responsibility. Um, this exhibit will be here till November 30th. I get that right? And uh, it's just another chance to uh, see your fellow New Yorkers and enjoy yourself and expand your mind and think about it. And so I have to say this because I'll get blasted if I don't. Go Rangers.